led to this semi big rig turning over on its side on I-5 northbound that has just caused a mess this morning. Right now, all lanes are blocked on I-5 northbound near the Barbara Boulevard exit. You can see these Terwilliger curves. Where this crash happened, you can see it's a lot of bending for this big rig. I want to zoom out a little bit just so you can see how far this traffic is stretching back. This is pretty far back, almost to Taylor's Ferry Road right now. And until this road gets cleared, it's not going to get any better. I want to give us a real quick look at our ODOT camera right now. The semi is back up up on its wheels looks to be attached to the tow truck. Hopefully they'll be pulling it out soon, but it is still closed and our Corlin core Harlan has been out there this morning with a bird's eye view. Nobody's got a better look at this core has been monitoring the progress core. What have you seen over the last half hour? Well, I see that tow truck in place now and it's got the cab of that truck back up on its uh, prongs there and is uh, looks to be about ready to start pulling this truck out here. Again, if you're just getting up this morning here and uh, are anywhere south of town here, you're going to want to avoid uh, all lanes of Interstate 5. They've been shut down now for about the last half an hour or so as the wrecking trucks have got into place here. They, as I say, they've got the tractor part of this tractor trailer up on the back of the uh, tow vehicle now at the front end of this. And they, they have, uh, within the last 30 minutes as well, got the trailer uh, upright and on its wheels after spending a couple of hours uh, removing what appeared to be from up here uh, boxes and boxes and boxes of uh, Kirkland brand trail mix into a front loader and a dump truck they took it away so they lightened up the trailer they've got it on its wheels now and uh, it appears as though that they are uh, you know getting ready and getting prepared to start towing this truck down the freeway and getting it out of harm's way Again, if you're if you're south of town at all, anywhere in Tigard, Tualatin, Wilsonville, Lake Oswego, any of those places south of town, you're going to want to use an alternate route. Barber Boulevard's a good bet. Macadam is a good bet if you're going to be coming up uh, into town this morning. As I mentioned earlier, you might want to try 217 uh, and use 26 to get into downtown, or even in some extreme cases, go over the Selwood Bridge in southeast Portland to try to get to downtown because this is been a block here for about the last 30 to 45 minutes. It does appear that uh, getting this truck out of here is imminent at some point here, but we just don't know how long that's going to take or how long that's going to be. Uh, and miraculously, I'm told this morning, uh, ODOT is getting word to us that they know of no injuries that resulted as a result of this truck that went over again. This is in the northbound lanes of I-5, the furthest. Oh, there goes the truck right now. Actually, how about that? So you see that tow truck right there live. Follow that out there, Carl. Show the folks there the tow vehicle moving that truck down the road. Look at that. Still on its wheels. The trailer is in really nasty shape. They actually had uh, some saws there cutting the uh, roof out of that thing to help uh, get uh, some of the contents out of that trailer. But it's on its wheels now, and it is moving. They're putting down some of that powder. I think that's sort of a, a grease and oil absorbent that they use to sort of a grease sweep for a lack of a better term there to get uh, some of the gas and some of the liquids that uh, that uh, spilled out of the trailer of that, the tractor trailer part of that stuff, get them absorbed and get them all straightened out. They do have most all of the debris cleared up from the freeway. It's been a couple of hours that they've been doing this here. So actually that's a, that's kind of a surprise. They moved that out of there so fast. They've just sort of pulled it off onto the shoulder just a little bit further north of here as they get uh, I-5 hopefully hopefully prepared here within the next couple of hours or next hour or so to get the freeway reopened and get things back to some semblance of normal here. Trevor and Eileen this morning after a, a big rig again has gone over well, as you see just move, removed after the big rig gone over here in the Twilliger curves in the northbound lanes of Interstate 5. Trevor yeah. and Eileen. Corey, I want to yeah. give some kudos to those ODOT crews because this is yes. in a terrible spot. And they kept that one lane open most of the morning. It hasn't even been closed for 45 minutes. They've already got the big rig out of the way. That's a great sign. Hopefully, they can get I-5 northbound yeah. open maybe within the next hour or so. We do appreciate